in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed I am undone before your glorious majesty. You're the King of kings and Lord of lords. You are the King of kings. You are the Lord of lords. Your glorious majesty. Someone is praying. Take everything, oh God. I vow that as you use me and as you lift me, that Jesus will be seen through everything. Through everything. The tendencies that are locked up from within our hearts, the appetite to want fame, the appetite to want name, the appetite tame those appetites by your spirit someone is praying two more minutes let it be from the depth of your heart let it be from the depth of your heart your banner high will shine your light so bright we'll sing in honor of you lord we will raise your banner high we'll shine your light so bright we'll sing in honor of you Please, if you are yet to submit your prayer request, I just want you to wave it high and an usher would come and pick it right now. 
we have a few minutes and God will be doing a very quick walk. It's a miracle service tonight. And they glorified God in me. Man of God, God desires that men will see his glory revealed in you. Businessman, parent, student, leaders. God desires the multifaceted dimensions of all that he is to perpetually find expression in and through your life. Can I tell you this? Listen carefully. Believe me, you have not seen prosperity till you die. Die to yourself and to your ambitions. God will take the prayer request of a man for decades and give you as a lover's gift. You have not seen influence and increase until you die to yourself. He will give you the keys to the hearts of kings and nations. We have come tonight, number one, to see Jesus exalted and glorified. We have come tonight to see and experience a display of his power as a component of his glory. We have come tonight to experience the wisdom of God. Can I tell you this? Now that you have gotten the message that in your death is your life. In your weakness is your strength. In your allowing Jesus to be revealed is your relevance. Now we can pray. We can pray that he comes upon us to heal the sick. We can pray that he comes upon us to cast out the devils that try to mock his might and his supremacy over lives and over destinies. We can pray that an engracing you did not come for this meeting will rub off on you and you will go back as a sign and a wonder. Are you ready to pray that prayer now? everywhere all across this field and the overflows i want you to pray a sincere prayer now that your heart is determined to see jesus glorified pray one prayer lord do not restrain your hand as far as lifting or blessing me is concerned go ahead and pray that sincere prayer and watch the wonder working power of he who was he who is and that which is to come Please pray. Let your healing power rest upon me. Let your power to restore rest upon me. I desire that my life and everything about me I desire that it becomes a revelation, an epistle of the wonder-working power of Jesus. Someone is praying. No matter how far, even those outside of this place, pray from the depth of your heart. They will reach you wherever you are. Pray. Oh, come oh, 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 oh my lifting has come oh, 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 oh my rising has come Now please listen carefully. 
we are going to do a very, very quick walk here that the Lord is going to be doing tonight. Praise the name of the Lord. Now, please, I want you to help the ushers. There are so many people and there's only so much the ushers can do. So if someone is under the anointing close to you, whether or not you are an usher, please do well to help them so that they don't injure themselves, especially if and when there will be a need to bring out a few people here. Now, let me tell you why impartations happen and some of these supernatural manifestations. It's not just some Pentecostal gibberish and jamboree by indisciplined people. You have to understand that the language of God is power. When the power of God comes, it does not do the same thing to everyone. For others, he's bringing deliverance for them. For others, he's bringing healing. For others, he's restoring. Regardless the prayer request, it is still power that will answer it. According as his divine power had given us all things, all things reside within the power of God. If the power of God is released, many things happen at the same time. So don't just focus on the preacher and those shouting under the anointing. Much more than that, you must open up your heart to receive. And then for those under the anointing, don't you think you are just falling and people are carrying you and bringing you out just for show. You must realize that something is happening within you and you must open your heart to receive it. Are you ready now? The first issue we are going to deal with tonight is the issue of delay. Please look up. Delay is a spirit. I taught you yesterday that the zenith of dominion is dominion over time. Whatever eats your time has taken something significant from your life. But within the economy of God, the Bible says God can not only restore things, but he can restore years. And I will restore time. When you meet a dying man, what he wants is time, not things. The greatest desire of man, whether known or not, is time. Because no matter what leaves you, if there is time, it can come back. But no matter what you have, if there is no time, it is a waste. Every other thing finds its value when there is time. Let me tell you how to know the spirit of delays at work in your life. When and if the only thing growing in your life is your age. If the only thing growing in your life is your age, there is delay. Because according to the authority of scripture, the path of the just should be as a shining light that shines ever brighter even unto the perfect day. It is true that the devil can bring delay, but thanks be to God, which causes us always to triumph. Now I'm going to pray. As I rebuke that spirit of delay and declare speed, two things will happen. You will find out that people will begin to run. Please, I want you to help them so they don't injure themselves and bring them out. Those under the anointing. I want to command that spirit because everything that is not a planting of God, it must give way tonight. Is someone ready to end delay? Not just for your life, but for all who are connected to you. Now in the name of Jesus, who is the son of the living God, I stretch my hands by the message of the God of heaven and I decree and declare the spirit of delay, I command it broken right now. I command it broken right now. Please begin to bring them out. I declare delay be broken. I release speed. Speed to your destiny. The power of God comes upon you right now. Speed in the name of Jesus, who is the son of the living God. I decree and declare speed. No more delay. Speed by the power of the Holy Ghost. Some of you as God is touching you, he's touching your family members. No power in existence has what it takes to stop you from moving forward. Help them please. Speed, I decree and declare upon the plateau in the name of Jesus. Let delay of all sorts be broken now. Let delay of all sorts by the power that raised Christ from the dead. Let it be broken right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let delay be broken. I give the chains 
falling. Yeah. I hear the chains falling. I hear the chains. I hear the chains falling. Number two, now I want to pray. It's a prayer of restoration. And I see the anointing coming on several people. Hear me. What this grace will do is that everything that left you that should not have gone by this anointing, wherever it is, it returns back. I decree and declare in the name of Jesus, everything you have lost, connections, relationships, spiritual virtues at the count of three may that fire and that grace that makes for restoration come upon you bring them out one two three help that woman please take that grace now in the name of Jesus they are taken for a prey and none say it restore we come with a voice of restoration let there be restoration in the name of Jesus. Everything you have lost, let it return to you. I prophesy as I was commanded and there was a sound. Bones came to his bone. Bones came to his bone. Business came to his business. Finances came to finances. <laughs> Let there be restoration in the name of Jesus Christ. Shout a loud amen. Let there be restoration. Now hear me. Please look at me. There are families here. You've lost everything literally. Everything. Opportunities. You were not like this. But everything started crashing down. Finances went down. Relationships went down connections went down I stand by the power of the Holy Spirit and I declare by this anointing let that grace come upon you for restoration let that grace come upon you for restoration hear me when Saul met prophet Samuel the first miracle that happened to him was that everything the donkey that you are looking for has been found there are anointings that can cause everything that strayed from its place of assignment to return back again now I want to pray I don't know how we're going to do it. Let me just pray for those in front first so they can return back. For all of you in front here, I decree and declare by this anointing, experience strange restorations by the power that raised Christ from the dead. In the name of Jesus, I speak to you by the anointing that raised Christ from the dead. The grace of priesthood comes upon you and it brings you restoration. In the name of Jesus, the son of the living God. Hallelujah. This man, that man wearing suit. You. What do you do, my friend? Where? Huh? In just your own ministry. I want to pray for you. You are a sincere man. Please don't be embarrassed. I don't mean to embarrass you. You are a sincere man, but there is so there are so many things for you to learn and understand. But in truth, the call of God is upon your life. And you have been praying and crying that God will anoint you. Please lift your hands. An anointing is coming upon you. You will shift into dimensions of the teaching grace and the healing anointing. Take that grace now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare. Help him please. You will never be the same. Even by the power of the Holy Spirit. He's shifting you to a new dimension. I impart that grace upon you. Access to the wisdom of the Spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Madam, this woman wearing green. Mama, something is coming on you. I'm seeing like oil being poured on her head. In the name of Jesus. 
is bringing you to a separation by the Spirit of God. And God is going to be doing great and mighty things even in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, who is the Son of the living God. For all those in front here, I declare you are blessed in Jesus' name. If you can, please return to your seat. I want to minister the power of the Holy Spirit now. That's why I want them to clear the way. Now, please hear me. I believe that everyone who names the name of Christ should be free from any and all kinds of demonic influences. Look at me. The spirits, wicked spirits, are behind the tragedies and the ills that are in the lives of men and families. Believe it or not. He said, I desire to come to you, even I, Paul, once and again, but Satan hindered us. He's hindered families. I want to pray. Some of you will marvel and wonder. Can I tell you, most of the things you wrote here as a prayer request, demon spirits walk like an octopus. They will touch several aspects of your life and confuse you, but it's one and the same spirit. But when that spirit, by the authority of the name of Jesus, is taken out of the way, I have seen what the power of God can do over demons and I can have seen the testimonies that come when people are genuinely set free I am come he said that ye may have life and that you have it more abundantly it is a thief that cometh not but for to steal to kill and to destroy now I want to pray there are spirits that have sat upon the destinies of men some of you mysterious occurrences around your life that will not let you go forward i want to pray i want to that's why i said clear the way because they are going to bring some other people here at the count of three i want you to shout the name jesus it is a name that is above every other name exalted as lord and christ and as you shout that name every planting that is not of god must give way it's time for your liberty it says to open up the prisons to those that are bound. To set the captives free. Father, I decree and declare that in the name of he that died and rose again, exalted as Lord and Christ, every spirit that is not of the Christ, standing the way of your people, as they shout, the healer, let it be like the crumbling of the walls of Jericho. Are you ready now? At the count of three, shout that name, Jesus. One, two, three, shout Jesus. I command those devils, go now. I command those spirits, release their destinies now. Bring them out. By the anointing of the Holy Ghost, I break every yoke. I command every activity of witchcraft and diabolism. It leaves you now, releasing your destiny. I declare that release. I command Satan, let God's people go free. In the name of Jesus, blotting out every handwriting and ordinances that spoke against us. He nailed it to his cross. And if the Son sets you free, you are free indeed. I declare your liberty. I declare your liberty from affliction, your liberty from every demonic activity. Bring them out. Hallelujah. Now, please hear me. The Lord is opening my eyes and I'm seeing chains on people's hands. Your hand is a symbol of your productivity. I want to pray for you. The fire of God is coming and bringing you great deliverance. I'm seeing the number 21. 21 people. I'm seeing that this fire is coming upon them. Right now I decree and declare, wherever you are, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, I, com I command those chains, be broken right now. Chains, be broken, be broken. Help them please. Be broken in the name of Jesus Christ. Chains be broken. In the name of Jesus Christ, 
chains be broken. Bring them out. I'm hearing a name Stephanie is there someone with that name Stephanie the Lord wants to visit you right now the Stephanie I'm seeing is wearing red complete red is there someone like that Stephanie please don't come out carelessly make sure that you fall into this category Stephanie I want to pray for you what he says to one he says to all I want to pray for you In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare that every planting that is not of God by the power that raised Christ from the dead, I decree and declare it comes to an end now. Agree with them and shout amen. In the name of Jesus. Wow. I just saw light across the minister's stand. I shouldn't say this, but I just saw light. I, I saw the anointing coming on two people right now just on the, the minister's seat just light and the Lord is saying a season is coming to an end and another season is opening I don't know who that is for but in the name of Jesus I stretch my hands by the power of the Holy Spirit let it be so in the name of Jesus Christ even one of the ministers is receiving a grace for prayer the spirit of prayer and supplication that grace help them please my God please help them in the name of Jesus that grace for prayer and supplication is coming upon you in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah I don't know if there is a woman here they call you mama grace is there someone like that I just heard that I don't know if it's your daughter that is grace but it's like they call you mama grace of grace that's in house of the mother of grace please if there's someone like that I want to pray for you we're going to be praying for the sick shortly but I just heard that and then I'll pray for you who is Joel Joel I'm hearing a name Joel is there someone with such a name please don't tell lies make sure Jesus is here Joel Joel mama who did they call mama grace you mama can I pray for you Remember not the former things, nor consider the things of old. The Lord himself by his spirit is doing a new thing. I'm seeing the Lord heal someone right now. I'm seeing someone you've been experiencing signs of arthritis. We're going to pray for the sick right now. Signs of arthritis. But right now that pain is living in the name of Jesus Christ. That pain is living right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Mama Grace, I'm still hearing that name again. I presume that there might be a number of women, but we'll just stand by faith and pray for the ones we have here. In the name of Jesus Christ. This right here, someone is going to shout loud under the anointing there. Pick the person and bring the person. Just write down the anointing. I just saw like fire. There might be shouts elsewhere, but right here. Mighty God. Hmm. I 
will worship him forever love him forever because this god is too good i will worship you forever love you forever because this god is too good i know a god who is mercy full and kind Faithful and gracious How on the apple of his eyes The thoughts that fills his heart Every morning, noon and night He loved me when I didn't care And, and was patient till I came Running Run back, back, back into his arms. Oh, oh, this will be your testimony. Look how he's turned my life, life around. Baby, Shaba Shaba like a shining, shining light. light. His, his glory, glory to reveal. reveal. I will worship. I will worship him forever. of Jesus I decree and declare the power of God will come on one of you here the moment that happens the Lord is bringing healing and deliverance just one of you who is in front here very quickly I already begin to sense the healing anointing I just saw an anointing coming on one of you who is in front here in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God I decree and declare let that be so for you in the name of Jesus Christ In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. My attention is distracted there. Please, um, I want you to help the person who the power of God comes upon right now. I just saw oil being poured just straight down this road. Majesty. Now in the name of Jesus, I declare for all of you who are out here, may the Lord visit you and visit your children. In the name of Jesus Christ, may the Lord visit you and visit your children. In the name of Jesus, I'm about to pray for the sick now. Twelve years trusting God for the fruit of the womb. Who is that? Twelve years. I'm seeing the number twelve. Twelve years. Please don't just come out anyhow. Just let's just 12 years. Ah, salvation has come to you. Who is that person? 12 years. 12 years. Let's celebrate Jesus. It is coming to an end. I know you are here. Here in your power. I know, I know you, you are, are here. here. Precious Holy Spirit, I know, I know you are, are here, here in your glory. I know you are here. Precious, Precious Holy Spirit, I know, I know you, you are, are here, here. Ah. here in your glory. I know, I know you are here, sweet Holy Spirit, I know, I know you are, are here. here, you are here to take us higher, I know you are here, precious Holy Spirit. Now, hold on, please. I'm going to ask Pastor Nat, listen, there are many of you who are called into prophetic worship. Now hear me. Help them please. He's going to blow the trumpet. And hear me. As he blasts that trumpet. 
from the depth of the spirit, a mantle and a grace is going to rest upon you. Please hear me. Doing music is not just about singing. It's a spiritual affair. Some of you will draw songs from the realm of the spirit. Some of you will hear melodies in the night. Some of you who are instrumentalists will lay your hands from tonight. And it will be a different sound. Are you ready? There will be a mighty baptism. It doesn't matter what auditorium. My God. A sound is coming. By the spirit of grace. And upon this sound. There will be an awakening. A prophetic awakening. From within your spirit. Yes sir. Oh, spring up her wells. We call for prophetic fountains, mistrials of glory, prophetic psalmistry. We decree and declare let that grace and that mantle rest upon you. Songs of deliverance, songs in the night, songs of worship. We find the altar of worship. Afresh again, afresh again, let fire fall upon your ministry. New dimension. New seasons, new seasons. Pastor Sam, the Lord is just telling me to tell you truly that he's bringing you into a new season in ministry, that your influence will start rising beyond Gombe State. This is what God is saying. God will begin to draw people to come and drink from you that are beyond that state. And that grace, by the spirit of grace, may that grace rest upon you. And it will start as the ministry of prayer. And then it will move to the prophetic. Prayer and the prophetic. In the name of Jesus, may God make that happen for you. By the power of the Holy Spirit, I decree and declare, let those wells be opened by the spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Hallelujah. Now hear me. Hear me. I'm seeing the grace of the intercessor. And I'm seeing the number 40. Many of them women. There is a prophetic grace for prayer and intercession. At the count of three, that mantle is coming on people right now. Prayer groups, intercessory groups will arise by the spirit. One, my God. Two. Three. Take that fire now. Latu, let the grace for intercession fall upon you. Women of prayer, women of power, women that wail until prophecy is breathed over the state, over families. We decree by the decree of the watchman. Help that woman, please. In the name of Jesus Christ. Have that woman, please. In the name of Jesus Christ, by the decree of the watchman, let it be so. We establish it as an ordinance in the realm of the spirit that the incense of prayer will arise from the plateau even to the heaven. Now, I want to pray for the sick. I believe in the healing ministry. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. The angels 
bows bow. The redeemed worship you now. My sister, this lady wearing yellow, lift your hands. I'm seeing oil coming on your head. And the Lord is saying he's opening you up to a new season. In the name of Jesus, may that anointing come upon your life and shift you to a new season. In the name of Jesus Christ. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. Saints and the angels bow. The redeemed worship you now. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. Holy, holy. Worship you now. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. Holy, holy, holy. Holy, holy, holy. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. No one, Jesus, there is no one, my darling, there is no one, Jesus, there is no one else like you, there's no one, Jesus, there is Please lay your hand right now where you are trusting God for a healing miracle. I want you to believe in the power of Jesus to heal. You can bring the requests up while we do that so we hurry up right now. Please lay your hands wherever. If it's your head, lay your hands there as a point of contact. I tell you there's, there's such mighty anointing to heal right now. Something is happening. 
all of the overflows everywhere the power of God to heal you are the lamb you are the lamb hallelujah now if it's a part of your body you cannot touch just make contact with your chest as a point of contact and for all of you who are following you're watching from your homes you're watching from wherever whatever tv station there is your chance to experience the power of jesus from america to europe to asia here in africa all of the states connected and following here is your chance to experience the miracle working power of jesus i want you to believe as i pray listen miracles are not superstitions they are direct products of the power of god in the life of a believing Christian that you believe he's able to heal you then he comes to heal agree with me as I pray now hear me our time is up and I don't intend to keep us unnecessarily long but we have to do this very quickly I'm just going to be praying for one or two minutes the moment I pray for you, a miracle, already miracles are already happening everywhere. Inside here, outside, for those of you who came, you came and probably miracles were already happening to you. Now, as I pray for you, I want you to believe and receive by faith. Remember I taught you the law of faith? When I pray for you, I'm going to request that you do what you could not do. The moment you find out that a miracle has happened to you, may I please request for sake of time that you use either this place in front by my left or that place by my right the moment the power of God touches you and you find out that you could do something a relief the growth is gone the pain is gone you couldn't walk now you can walk you were blind now you can see I will request when I ask you to to run out and stand here and we'll take a few of the testimonies before we pray finally over the request and then we're done for the night make sure you do not sit back as his power touches you perhaps you may have received a miracle yesterday and you didn't have the time to prophesy when those who are coming out are coming out you can join them very quickly when i say in jesus name please shout a believing amen in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare right now every spirit of infirmity here upon this ground and here upon the plateau we decree and declare in the name of he who died and was raised by the glory of the father seated and exalted even jesus i decree and declare that your hold over god's people is broken now in the name of jesus now i decree and declare be healed now be healed now from the crown of your head even to the soles of your feet be healed now I release miracles in the name of Jesus I command blind eyes to be opened now whether partial blindness complete blindness be healed now deafness be healed in the name of Jesus every blood condition I rebuke that condition in the name of Jesus. Lumps. The Lord is showing me lumps of all kinds. I declare that those lumps disappear now. Hepatitis. Be healed now. HIV. Be healed now. Cancer. Be healed now. Fibroids. Be healed now cardiovascular conditions be healed now bone conditions you came here on crutches you came here using an aid be healed in the name of Jesus there's someone I'm seeing you can't see very well in fact it's, it's almost as if one eye is completely blind but right now as I'm praying you're from a distance the power of God will come upon you and you will see that you can see clearly right now in the name of Jesus 
bone conditions be healed right now i'm seeing a young lady who came here you are ss in the name of jesus christ we change that genotype now by the power of the holy ghost peptic ulcer be healed right now lower abdominal pain be healed right now pain around your vertebra be healed in the name of jesus severe waist pain in the name of jesus the lord is healing you there's someone you have just hit around your body in jesus name be healed now now there's someone you have a condition it looks like mums you know what mums are where there's one is swelling at the side of your cheek but it's been there for a while you would notice that the contour of your face one side looks swollen than the other you've seen this you've prayed you've done your best but it's not gone right now i command that that condition is restored in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ there's someone you're a young man but you get tired very easily almost like a very old person you can't stand for long i declare be healed right now now whether i mention your case or not in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god here at this conference be healed in jesus name be healed in jesus name be healed in jesus name now very quickly i want you to check yourself and do what you couldn't do the moment you find out that there is a miracle boldly make your way to the front right now let's celebrate them as you come check yourself check yourself in any of the overflows the moment you find out that the power of god has touched you you've been healed relieved of any pain migraine headaches going make your way to the front are you celebrating miracles people are coming out very quickly make your way boldly to the front look at miracles are happening my goodness are you seeing what is happening here what are you turning to wine open the eyes of the blind there's no one like you i like you please can we have one or two pastors just help me stick to the darkness you shine out of the ashes we rise no one coming my goodness are you seeing what jesus is doing plateau the beautiful is this how you celebrate the hand of god we want to shame the devil upon the plateau soil in the name of jesus to reveal by these miracles that jesus is doing a new thing upon the plateau if you're in agreement shout a loud amen Please. Lump. Hallelujah. The lump. Okay. On her side and the breast is gone. Lump. Something is happening somewhere. What is happening there? Looks like there's a miracle happening there. What is that? I can't see it. There's a miracle happening there. Ah. Oh, a wheelchair. Give Jesus a big shout. Hallelujah. You have won the victory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You have won it all for me. That could not hold. another wheelchair there another miracle you have a track record of keeping your word and you're not about to stop doing hey oh lord what are you you are mighty oh lord what are you you are mighty oh shape wall of fortune Oh, Lord, you are 
let's take a few of the miracles. Are you ready? Let's have another pastor there. Someone attend to them there. Do we have anyone? Please, any of the ministers. Okay, if you're ready, let's, let's just save time very quickly. Miracles are happening here. I'm seeing in my vision, I'm seeing someone, you're using a crutch. It's not a, it's not a wheelchair. It's like a, a, a stick or something. I don't know. This is the vision I'm seeing. I don't know who, whether the person is here or in any of the overflows. Don't be afraid. Lift it up and walk. Lift it up and walk. In the name of Jesus, who is the son of the living God. Lift it up and walk. Lift it up and walk. You are good. You are kind. Lift it up and you walk. You are more than peace. Lost for words. words. Trying to describe you. Elohim. Elohim. Lift it up and walk. Elohim. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God. Your greatness is all I see. There is nothing you cannot do. There is no mountain you cannot move. If you have said it, then you will do it. You have a drop record of keeping your word. You're not about to stop doing it hey! Hallelujah. Sir. What happened to you? What's that now? Oh, the overflow. Something is happening in the overflow. Where is that now? Which of, I don't know which of the overflow. Let's celebrate though something is happening there. Now, we don't know what is happening, but we know something is happening. Hallelujah. Let's have goodness. We have to work with time. Sadly, we can't take all of this. Okay, let's, let's take two or three and then we'll have to pray on the request. Very quickly, please. Anyone ready? Very quickly. Okay, Praise so. The Lord, from 2011, I've been having severe pain on my left leg. Yes. At times, it would just freeze. And when I came here, I even was dancing. Please, don't, don't put anyone jump. under pressure. I am na, jumping na, now. Na. The pain is gone. Completely. Jump. Completely jump. Gone. Jump. Jumping. Any pain. Completely. Please don't, don't put anyone under pressure. Please, please. Don't do that at all. Don't put anyone under pressure. Hallelujah. If it happens for them, there are people who might not receive all of the miracles here, but that the seed has been sown. Please let them be. We're not faking it here at all. Another miracle has happened there. Only God knows. It looks like the overflow is receiving more than us here. Their faith seems to have... completely gone it never returns in jesus name. hallelujah yes please very quickly amen arthritis left this very moment arthritis yes i can't who is speaking hallelujah okay what happened arthritis left confirmed oh medically yes sir how long yes, sir what 12 years now your legs yes sir. which of them the left leg move it let the devil see you let the devil see you run Run, run. Overflow. Overflow ah. one. Overflow one. Amen. From over the overflow. Praise From the overflow. Me. From the overflow, yes. I am healed. I am healed. <laughs> From sickle cell anemia, I am healed. She's walking with a walking stick. And she has been healed of sickle cell anemia. Yes. Oh dear, I wish I could. Which Hallelujah. Of, you, please, when you talk, um, the pastors in charge, let us know which overflow you are speaking from. The we car park. Not, the car park. Where is the car park? Overflow three. So what happened there? Let's know. Sickle cell anemia. She's been healed. What couldn't she do before? She was walking with her head, a, a, a walking stick, but now she could walk. Ask her to walk headed. without it now. My goodness. Yes, please. Very quickly. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I've undergone surgery in my eyes three times. Three times? Yes. 
Surgery. Yes. What for? Yes. What did they tell you was wrong? First was cataract. Second was change of lens. They thought they, were, they had to change the lens again. And what happened now? Friend, I can't see with the eyes even after the first surgery. You couldn't see? Yes. And right now? Right now I can see with the eyes. What couldn't you see before? You, you couldn't see me from Whoa. there. Yes, sir. One. Hey. Two. Three. Five. Ten. Give Jesus praise. So yes, this please. one, this brother Nash is the one that easily get tired on the lake and the Lord healed him. How long, my friend? It has been, it has been a while. For how long? It has been long. It has been long. And right now? Yes, sir. Completely? Yes, sir. We rebuke that tiredness. In the name of Jesus. For sake of time, let's just have one, 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 one each so that we can. Otherwise, we're going to stay all through the night. Yes, please. One there. Anyone who is ready, go ahead. Peptic ulcer. Peptic ulcer. Several How? years gone. Several years gone. I have terrible pain at my back. Before I came, my back said that it's gone. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Gone forever. In the name of Jesus. Severe chest pain and knee pain completely. God. Gone forever. Amen. Now, for all of you who have come, before I pray for this, Pastor Nat is going to lead us through two minutes of high praise. Jump every devil out of your life. Are we together? Listen, I want you to prepare. Let it be from the depth of your heart. Because it is in praise that his power is made manifest. Now, for all of you who have been healed, I declare it will never return to you again. In the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody shout! Hey, I stand amazed in your presence. Hey, I stand amazed. I stand amazed in your presence. Hallelujah. Hold on. Hold on, please. This is from the overflow. Who is that? The young lady. Let me see. How were you walking before? How were you walking, darling? You couldn't walk. I couldn't walk. Properly. Lift it now. Walk. Walk. Move. Oh, my God. Oh, she walked from the overflow. Are you giving Jesus a big, 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 big praise? Creator of the universe. What can you do? What can you do? Jesus. Hey! Come on, Jesus. Hey, the bomb in the other day. What can you do? What can you do? Jesus. Creator, creator, creator of the universe. What can you do? Let the sound. 
Hallelujah. Now please hear me. The Bible is very clear as to the fact in the name of Jesus for all of you who are healed, let there be your testimonies remain forever. Particularly, I'm seeing this man standing in the name of Jesus. Your miracle is established. How long has this been? Six months. For six months? Eight months. Eight months. What happened to you? Arthritis. I could not stand. You couldn't stand? I couldn't stand at all. Without the help of my cousin, I could not stand. Now unto the one upon the throne We raise a sound We raise a sound For He is God and God alone Hallelujah Hallelujah One more time Now unto the Lamb upon the throne the nations all the nations of the earth hallelujah hallelujah stretch your hands by faith right here everyone stretch your hands by faith and begin to pray I am agreeing under the corporate anointing this is not just Joshua Selman Pastor Nathaniel Reverend Akila, all the men and women of God upon the plateau here represented. We stand as a united church praying over this. Is someone stretching your hands that these Egyptians I see today, that I see them no more forever. Are we in agreement? I'm going to bow my knees and I'm going to pray. Now let me tell you this and, and this is true. Um, Many of you know that I love Pastor Nat with all my heart. He's a very great, great vessel of God. There is a mystery about him and this trumpet. You see, the shout of a king, when in the midst of a people, produces wonders. I'm going to bow my knees and lay my hands, and I'm just going to ask him as inspired by the Spirit. He's blowing over by the spirit do you know what that means that the sound is blowing away shame blowing away pain listen to me it is by the sound of the trumpet that there is a separation between those who live and those who stay that means the sound of a trumpet can separate what should go and what should stay the sound of a trumpet separates a condition it is not just for rapture. It is not just the sound of the archangel. The trumpet is a mystery that as the shofar is blown with understanding, it can bring a separation between what must stay and what must leave. Are you ready by faith? Stretch your hands here. You don't have to kneel. I'll do the kneeling for you. And Pastor Nat will just blow prophetically. I'd like you to believe because many of you, you will go back home and you will watch testimonies lined up like visitors waiting for you in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and pray.
Jesus. Please shout a believing amen. In the name of Jesus. I decree and declare by the decree of the watchers and by the mercies of the God of heaven, these Egyptians that you see today, you will see no more forever. You will see no more forever. You will see no more forever. By this request, help, help that lady please so she doesn't injure herself. Every spirit behind the tragedies here represented in the name of Jesus, we banish you forever. We banish your influence forever. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every door that has been shut over your life and destiny, I speak to that door. Ephata, be open, heater and theta. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I decree and declare by the mystery of the ark in the house of Obed Edom, 90 days from tonight, three months, believe me, in the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God, within three months from tonight, let there be strange visitations, strange testimonies, marvelous workings of the power of God. So shall it be in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Just let me two minutes and we're done. If you can hold the hands of anybody, please in one minute, let's pray for the church on the plateau. Father, we decree and declare that in the name of Jesus, the church upon the plateau, regardless denomination, regardless differences in doctrine, for the business people across the plateau, in the name of Jesus, for everyone involved in business to whatever decree, by the power of the Holy Spirit, you will not go down again. That when men say there is a casting down, we stand by the Spirit of grace and we declare, for you let it be that there is a lifting up. Number three, we pray for plateau. The man God has elected and selected by his spirit alongside every other person from governor to senate members to house members, federal house of reps, state house, we decree and declare may the angel of his presence go before us and grant peace upon this state in the name of Jesus Christ. The spirit of poverty and failure and everything that brings reproach to the name of Christ over the lives of the saints we banish it from this territory in the name of Jesus I pray for your prayer altar I pray for your word study life these are the components that make for your maturity in the name of Jesus find grace to pray in the name of Jesus, find grace to study. In the name of Jesus, I multiply your passion for the house of God. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go to the house of God. Let it be so, in the name of Jesus, that all the ministers and servants of God in this nation, and in this state particularly, they will stand as one, with one voice, putting behind whatever petty differences, and stand as one coordinated team lifting up the name of Jesus may that be so for this state in the name of Jesus Christ finally we pray for house on the rock upon the plateau you are indeed a house that is upon a rock we pray for all the workers we pray for all who are part of this vision and all who support this vision in the name of Jesus let it be for you from glory to glory. Let it be for you 
from grace to grace let it be for you from power to power and for everyone who has come to celebrate with the man of God his wife and this vision I decree and declare shame and reproach will be far from your life in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God I want to thank you sincerely for every time I have the privilege of talking to you. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray, pray, pray for your destiny. Salas kade bash kana kata branda kete katos. Kete branda kata pakotos koto break kete kene kata. The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.